Before we can talk about holding the violin, we need to talk about an important piece of equipment on the violin, which is our shoulder rest or shoulder rest alternatives. Now, what is a shoulder rest? Well, here's our violin. Here's our chin rest because it's more or less where our chin goes or corner of the jaw. On the other side, right now I have nothing. So when I put the instrument up, really having to pinch my chin down and, and pinch my shoulder up like this to try to hold the violin and it's uncomfortable really lifting that shoulder up trying to hold it uh, because of the length of my neck so uh, over time people developed various um, tools or methods to make this section wider so it's more comfortable to hold now this is a one of many different brands uh, this happens to be a coon brand shoulder rests popular brand uh, there's uh, several others that you'll find at the store or online and this fits here to make the violin taller from top to bottom so that when I put it in playing position, I can now hold it much more comfortably without having to really squish my shoulder up or my chin down. So almost all of these shoulder rests are, are they look slightly different, but uh, there's a one similarity to them, which is that they'll have a basic curve. And when it's properly installed, that curve should be opposite of the bottom of the violin. So if you put the shoulder rest on, and it looks uh, like this. You see where the curve is the same as the bottom of the violin. That's backwards, and that uh, will not help you hold the instrument. So that should be opposite, like that. Violin bottom curved this way, shoulder rest curved this way. So you can think of it as a circle. You can think of it as the shoulder rest is making a frown, uh, but that will be in the correct position. Now, let me give you a, one technical fact about these shoulder rests. You will see that on this shoulder rest, there are adjustment screws that allow this to be wider or narrower. Partly that is so that you can use it for different size violins. Uh, like a three-quarter size or a full size. Um, also, different violins have slightly different, uh, even, even a full-size violin may have slightly different sizing. So this way, uh, we can adjust that. Now, what happens with these sometimes is this gets loosened, one of these gets loosened, and then it spreads out and you go to put it on the violin and it won't stay on the violin it falls off so that just means you have to figure out which screw is loose uh, pull it back basically into place tighten it up now you may not be using a shoulder rest you may be using some kind of sponge and there are a lot of different kinds of these this is a like a car wash type sponge that has been cut uh, in a little less than half this, I think, is a, uh, a magic eraser uh, that happens to be a good height, especially, if, and, and this is it's a very small sponge. You wouldn't normally use this on a full-size instrument, but you might use this, on, for example, on an eighth-size or a quarter-size instrument. Or you might just use a dish sponge if you, uh, if you didn't need very much height at all, or you might use two dish sponges. But I'll show you how these mount. And to mount those, we're going to need a pretty good-size rubber band that will stretch. So you take that rubber band, we're going to wrap the rubber band around the chin rest, like that. Then, around the back of the violin, over the corner of the violin, on the chin rest side. So there it is. Now we have something that we can slip our sponge into, and it'll stay put. So I'm going to put the small sponge in here so now it's just being held and i can move this around to wherever is happens to be a good position it's up on my shoulder holding in place or you might want to use this 
uh, wash sponge. Now the wash, sorry, the wash sponge has a higher and a lower end. We want to put the sponge in so that the lower end, or the, or rather the uh, the thicker end, is off of the shoulder. So it's here. So the thinner end is the one that will be on the shoulder here. Thinner end on the shoulder. And I can slip that. under, put it where I like it, and then got a nice, um, pretty, to adjust that a little bit, comfortable, but a fairly thick shoulder rest there. So this is a little too thick for me, but this is easily adjustable. You just take a uh, bread knife or uh, other kind of uh, cutlery that works for cutting this kind of material, and you can slice this down, make it a little thinner. So that is mounting the shoulder rest. And uh, the height of shoulder rest that you use, whether it's very thick like this, kind of medium like this, uh, low like this, depends entirely on how long your neck is. Some people have very long necks. They, need, they may need a very tall shoulder rest. You can get uh, shoulder rests where they have special feet that are extra long. Or you may have a very short neck, and all you need is a little sponge under there to just give you a comfortable space. So I have this gap here is what I need to fill so that I'm not having to hunch like that. So that's mounting uh, and installing your shoulder rest.